Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for this video, I'll be just updating everybody on the current status of our shrimp farm makeover. We have actually stocked them with PL two weeks ago, and here's a quick update, so stay tuned. So as you can see over here, our guys are just about to load in the bags full of PLs into the pond for acclimatization. So as you can see that you might realize that there are a lot of floating filamentous algae on top of our ponds. And our ponds are actually not very deep at the moment. It's only about one and a half feet. And here's some of the videos of us releasing the PLs into the pond as you can see over here. So these were all done at the end of March. Eh? So this is about two to three weeks at the moment. So just to recap what we have done up to this point, so the first stage was to allow water to flow in via gravity during the high tide and let it settle for one or two days. And this was the outcome. We were actually getting very clear water as seen from the drone footage over here. And what was done next to treat this water is to perform chlorination and an additive of some chemicals like tea seed cake to remove any unwanted species inside the pond. So this video was shot just after addition of the chemicals. So what we were trying to do at this point is to allow the growth of natural uh, phytoplanktons that could benefit the growth of shrimp. But instead what happened was the growth, we had an explosive growth of filamentous algae as you can see over here while we were doing the stocking. Because our water was relatively shallow and we had a week of very strong sunlight. And this was during the stocking process of the PL. So this is two weeks later after stocking. So what we have actually done over here is to try to minimize the amount of algae that was growing on top by a series of remediation using probiotics, increasing water level, increasing the turbidity of the water. And this is the end result. We can start to see the slow reduction of filamentous algae that is floating on top, as you can see from the drone footage here. And most of them has actually started to slowly die off or being consumed by the shrimp. Well, it's not to say that these filamentous bacteria are harmful for the shrimp, but instead, we believe that they contain less protein for the shrimp to be able to consume. So what's tend to be happening right now is the aggregation of this algae at the middle section of the ponds, as you can see over here from the drone footage, because how the aerations or paddle wheels are being designed is to push off the solids going into the middle. So that's a really crucial point to ease the removal of the solids. And right over here, you can also see that we are also introducing some water to top up or replace some of the water for our ponds. And we do that every time during high tide, as you can see over the Brackish River right over here. So one important point to take note during this design is we have actually implemented a dredging system in which by where we'll be using a pump to remove some of the solids that you will see accumulated in the middle. So as of now, as we're not putting in a lot of feed, most of the solids are still some of these filamentous algae. But because the shrimps are still very small, we haven't started to drag. Uh, to dredge the ponds at the moment but we will do so once the shrimps are getting into a bigger size and when we are putting more feet inside the pond so that's all for this update for the next update i'll be showing you some of the growth of the shrimp and how does our pond changes over the course of the farming process so we hope to see you again and that's all for now Stay tuned.